everyone. So here's the ceiling fans in my collection. So I just have the Monte Carlo Vios up here on my testing spot because I don't have another place to put this. And I don't have that big of a basement. And if I had a bigger basement, I'd probably keep this up, keep it up here. But I want to keep this up here for a while because... This fan hasn't gotten a lot of use, and this is probably would be the 500 subscriber special. It is ceiling fans and portable fans in my collection, so. I haven't done videos of portable fans in a while, and. But I did like it when random letters were made on box fans, like the Lasco box fans. So, anyways, let's get started. So, here are the ceiling fans in my collection, so. Right here we have a Monte Carlo Vios, and um, this is a new in the box fan, and um, I've had this fan since November of 2020. So this fan um, will this fan will be staying up here for a while. Well, this is the reason why it is because it's been sitting in the box for a long time. And I want this fan, and it's been and it hasn't been ran in a long, and it hasn't it has been sitting there not running. Just in the box, but I think, I don't know why, I think, may, uh, well, um, but now, but I got this on offer up and, and I have it up here for a while and I want it, I want it to get some use, like, for it to run. So, yeah, I have this one up here. Going up here, we have a... Casablanca Spirit of Saturn. Um, new, uh, got this on eBay from fellow fan collector Andrew Wu. Um, wanted a IntelliTouch fan for my collection. Got a, a Minka Air Concept too. Down is a down rod. Got a Hunter Original, and I might be getting another Hunter Original. That's an update uh, for my collection. Here's some fan updates right here. I might be getting those two Dayton uh, ring fans at my school and this summer. But also, I might be getting um, I might be getting that uh, Hunter Original at my um, parents' friend's house at my um. Am I, whatever, what you call it, um, at my friend's house, and this, this fan actually came from my friend's house, and I might be getting the five blade original, too, and when I, I need to get some more original oil, so, and if I do, I'm gonna oil this one, and oil the five blade one, I wonder if the five blade one's from the same year, because 1992 or 93 is the last year for, Four blade only and five blade only originals before they switched to four or five blade. Because so I wonder what year the uh, five that five blade original is from, and I wonder if it could do four blades too, because that'd be good if it did four blades. Here's all the Casablanca parts. Here's my concentric blade arms, and here's my Panama blades. I have the concentric bl I have the white blades put on it. The uh, cherry wood blades. They kind of get out of balance with that's on the Panama too. I don't know why. But it's a temporary install, so doesn't matter. I just want to like putting the light blades on there. But here's all the Casablanca parts: is the IntelliTouch, hang through crossbars, uh, hang through canopies, hang through canopy, Casablanca bull fobs, and um. There's some fans right here. We've got two Casablanca Panamas. This one's in a little more rough shape because of um, a bent blade arm. I don't know why. Well, I like to hang the first one because this one's in a little more rough shape. And, um, and we have right one right here. And have the Casablanca Concentra. And you know what I'm hoping to do one day? Is get some South Seas blades for or Avalon blades for one of these Panama as well. I'm hoping to get South Seas blades for that one right there and Avalon blades for that one. Because one of the blade arms is kind of bent out of shape. And I really 
need to, um, I probably need to get new blades for it. I'm hoping to get Avalon blades. Here's my Harbor Breeze Builder's Vest. This is the fan I constantly do W and M with. And please note, when I do W and M, I do not use plastic boxes. Plastic boxes are meant for lights. And my fan box is strong enough to hold a wobbling ceiling fan because it's held one of my Casablanca Panamas before. And, um, it's about the and tell my coastal breeze too. We'll get to that. And and you know why it's easy to do W and M with these and a Hampton Bay Huntington because it's quick. Because you have to take these out to um, take the blade off of it. And Ray Nizzle actually does have a Harbor Breeze Springfield, which is kind of like this. And he did W and M with it, just like how I did. Um, just like, that kind of reminded me of doing W&M with this fan. And same with the Huntington. And if I get, ever get an Emerson Pro Series 2, I'd love to do W&M with that fan. Because that would be so hilarious if I did W&M with an Emerson Pro Series 2. I don't want a white one though. I'd like to get like a bronze one or antique brass one or a brushed steel one. And here's a Hunter Coastal Breeze. Um, 44 inch. I'm not going to put this one up for a while. And I know you've been asking me to do like random letters with it, but I'm going to need a lot of things for that. I'm going to need new blade arms for it. So. Yeah. Here are my original blades. And if I put my original back up, I'm definitely, I might do, I could do TNL -T with it or 3 and E with it. I've taken a blade off and ran it before, but I'm gonna, but I'll do, but I'd like to do it again. And do, this is before I started the W and M, 3 and E, etc. Here's the blades. Here's the box from a Monte Carlo Vios. It's the instruction manual in it. Here are some other random fan blades. The off balance Cherrywood blades. Blades for the SMC. Bunch of owner's manuals. Now, moving on, and forgot, make it our Supra. Moving on to some of my portable fans. We've got a, we've got a, uh, um, a mass, I got a, um, is it Massey? Yep, it's a Massey blue nine inch box fan. Three last, a uh, couple last go box fans. I got a, um, Older one. This is a newer one from 2016. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well. But hopefully if a blade breaks on it. I'm definitely going to do W and M with it. But I'm waiting for a blade to break on it. So. It'd be funny if I did W and M with a box fan. So I know I like doing it with ceiling, five bladed ceiling fans. Here's a vintage Holmes box fan. Got a uh. Forgot what this one is. Um, Breezeway. Seven inch desk fan. And Bionair Tower fan. This Taiwanese fan. And Chinese fans missing the charging port. And the Room Essentials. Lasco Breeze Machine. And Vornado. I had a um, black Honeywell mirrors, but I got rid of it because it broke. Got a Deco Breeze. Got a Patton. Um, Patton High. I think we probably ran it during like, well, like a washing machine flooded. That's how it probably got broken. Like the Honeywell got broken. Because I had a previously had a wa old washing machine that broke. You have a, um, this is a Deco Breeze fish fan. <laughs> and a Patton High Velocity fan. This was originally my grandmother's, but she didn't want it anymore. Because she now lives in a retirement home. Now she gave it to me, thanks to her. So, anyways. Here's my Hampton Bay Hawkins base. I still have a few parts for my 
Hampton Bay Hawkins because I no longer have that fan. I did part it out because it was getting broken. If a fan gets broken, I have to part it out. I still have the blades to it. I still have the capacitor to it, but I did part everything out. And back to this fan. We have some complete crap right here. Now we have a Room Essentials fan that I used to have play with, screw around with, but I broke it. I don't know, I might throw it away. Anyways, that's about it with the 500 subscriber special, the ceiling fans in my collection, and portable fans in my collection. I might do some videos on portable fans, so yeah, thanks for watching.